take out the result you got tonight. I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Uh, I'm so proud of so many guys and contributions uh, tonight and throughout the season. It's uh, unbelievable in my opinion. I just can't say can't say enough about these guys. Where do you, where do you feel like the, the match changed for you? Because it seemed like the first 15 or 20 minutes, you guys were really getting used to one another and under pressure a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, for me, a lot of the first half, we were a little bit, uh, we were a little bit attentive again. I thought there was more opportunities for us to play and possess the ball, um, and we weren't doing quite a good enough job of that. And as we know, they're an extremely talented team. I felt like we kept giving them the ball back, and then we would be under pressure. We'd get the ball, we'd give it back, we'd be under pressure. Uh, and so I just felt like we needed to try to hold the ball up a little bit more. Uh, and then in the second half, the game obviously opened up, and I think a lot of that has to do with the scoreline. Them being down one, no, I think they wanted to really throw things at us, and now there was more space and time uh, for our guys to operate. Can you talk about the penalty kick? Uh, what happened? Uh, the decision to have Pablo shoot it. The um, the penalty kick was, to be honest, it was a bit far away for me to see. I think Compos is the one that got dragged down. He made an unbelievable play. Uh, he touched the ball on this side of the fender, and he got the ball on that side of the fender. So I'm really pleased with his play inside the box. Uh, picked up the foul. Uh, and then it is often the case with a striker who feels like he's made the play, he takes the penalty. Uh, we don't, as a coaching staff, ever uh, delineate or, or, or point somebody out and say, you're the penalty kick taker for our team uh, in this game or that game. It's a decision that I think is best made on the field. Uh, and I, it was obvious that I think Will Johnson and both Andy Williams and Will Johnson both went to him and talked to him about it. Uh, and so fair enough, they have a discussion uh, about who takes it. And Pablo's decided he wants to, and the rest of them have let him. So uh, again, Family decisions, team decisions. So I'm fine with it. Thoughts on Paulo? Um, all he does is score for you in this Champions League, it seems like. Really, really good. Uh, and, and not just the goals that he scored, but just a lot of the play he's had in the second half and uh, dangerous opportunities where he's running the ball defenders and getting them on their back feet. And it was important for us that he, he did that because it allowed us a little bit of a chance to breathe defensively as well. We need to talk about it performance of the young guys like Colin Warner. I mean, he's like the unsung hero he did. Poison. What do you tell us about it? Again, I, mean, I just can't say enough uh, about the contributions of the players that come in uh, when they have for the last six weeks. Uh, all of them when they've been called upon in some extremely important games. This one, uh, the home game against Colorado, uh, all of them have stepped up big time. There's a lot of unsung heroes there. You know, Luis Gill, this is his first meaningful match for Real Salt Lake in front of a, a packed house that was a away match. You know, for all intents and purposes, it was an away match. Uh, and he, I thought he performed extremely well um, for 45 minutes. Um, and so, you know, Colin Warner, Luis Gill, Michelle McKenzie had an outstanding night tonight. Uh, Gene Alexander made a lot of really important tackles for us tonight. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. And even the guys that you know, the Andy Williams net grab was Will Johnson playing right back for the first time ever uh, and done a real nice job. So just can't say enough about the players on our team right now. Jason, can you talk about that, about Will being put into that position? It's something that we've kicked around a lot, uh, actually late in games, thinking about we've been in a lot of situations where we've uh, maybe only have one defender uh, in our 18 or we don't have any outside backs in our 18. And, have always thought, you know, in the games when he starts in the midfield, that he might be a nice option for us at right back in a pinch if we needed it within a match. Uh, and so uh, yesterday, talking with Robbie Russell, he's that ankle injuries hasn't hasn't been great for him. So we decided, why not? Uh, and Will was up for it. And credit to Will. Anytime you go to him and ask him if he wants to play any position on the field, the answer is uh, an expletive. Yes. <laughs> Talk about the effort of Kyle Rainish, who I, I thought made some really nice saves, well positioned all night. There's another player, another young player that, that doesn't have nearly the experience that a lot of the other players do. And in every game he's been called upon this year, he's been superb. And, and tonight he was a big, big, important player for us. He, he made a couple of really, really important saves for us in the second half, especially. Jason, the second game in a row, Robbie Finley's coming off the bench. Within a few minutes, really contributed with mm -hmm. an assist. Pretty similar plays, actually. Yeah. Uh, is that maybe a sign in your mind that he's turning the corner a little bit, getting the confidence? Yeah. Back? Yeah. I mean, he, he looks more confident player to me right now um, when he steps into the, in the matches for us late in the games. Uh, there's not a whole lot of indecision on his part. He's making good runs to get behind defenders. 
He's defending well for us. He's getting up for head balls. He's doing all the little things that are that are asked of him. Uh, and so uh, I think he's headed in the right direction, which is important. I've said all along that I think if we're going to have a chance to win the championship, we're going to need Robbie Finley to contribute. Jason, I know you talked about a lot coming into this tournament. You guys really wanted to make a statement in the region, not just in MLS. Do you think winning the group kind of validates the direction this club is headed regionally? It's a step in the right direction, um, but uh, we won't stop here. We, we hopefully will not um, say we won the group and that'll be enough, because uh, for me it won't be. We need to we need to make strides to, to get further in the tournament come spring. Will you have a greater home field advantage in February if it is snowing here? Could be, <laughs> could be. Absolutely. Jason, talk about the injuries in the team right now. How about Alvaro and um, Winger? Yeah, Chris is, um, I, we hope he's progressing. He's, uh, it's been obviously a little slower than we thought. Uh, an injury that you know was basically kind of questionable as to whether he's going to play a week and a half ago against New York has now turned into something a bit more serious. So uh, we hope that he's going to continue to make good strides. And, and we're hoping, the hope is right now, that he'll be available for us this weekend. Um, Robbie Russell's ankle injury, we think it's not a big deal. Uh, we expect that he'll be in training tomorrow. Uh, Sabo, is, uh, he's been having some, some little problems with his knee for a long time now, about a month. And so it's, it's really been a, a case of trying to limit his training uh, in any matches that we don't see, deem absolutely necessary. Like tonight, we, we won't play him, but we think that he's going to be okay for the rest of the season, as long as we're mindful of trying to take care of it when we can. Uh, and I thought Nelson Gonzalez, uh, you'll notice if you go in the locker room, he's now wearing a boot. Uh, so he has a problem with his foot, a possible stress fracture in his foot. So we do have our share of injuries at the moment, but uh, the guys keep proving us correct that we've got a very, very deep team. Jason, any thoughts on Saturday and going to Colorado, knowing that if you win, you put the pressure back on LA, uh, obviously the rivalry, playing a, a less than 100% lineup here. Is this a match we're going to go out, keep the Rocky Mountain Cup, and prove to everybody exactly what we're about? Yeah, no doubt. We're going there with the intention of doing our absolute best to win the game. Coach, any comment on the uh, atmosphere tonight? You mentioned earlier that it was kind of like a, an away game. Did that affect the players at all? I think so. You know, I think that um, it, was, it was correctly um, correctly observed that, that we struggled a little bit uh, in the first part of the match and we're really under a lot of pressure. Uh, and I think a lot of that does come down to the crowd. Um, and it's, I know it's a, the players uh, can be a very frustrating situation for them to be in our own stadium and feel like we're playing away. Uh, it was a frustrating situation for me as well. Um, but hopefully throughout the 90 minutes, uh, there were a lot of people that were wearing blue shirts that I hope are going home with red ones now. <laughs>